praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this commemoration of all faithful departed, all souls day, when we pray and we celebrate masses for the repose of the souls in purgatory, for their relief and release into heaven. And so, as with many episodes in scripture and uh, throughout the liturgical year, the liturgical life, the feasts of the church, it's always good and useful to reflect on readings and liturgical celebrations in the light of God's love, because really that helps us to understand and to place in context, and then hopefully uh, to put into practice in our own lives what we really need to do. And so just considering today's celebration for all of the souls of the faithful departed, it's good to call to mind that God is love, right? And we come from God. We come from love. He made us in love and for his love, and we are meant to travel and journey through this world, traveling the path of love to return to love in heaven and be there dwelling in, in perfect love for all eternity. And so yesterday we celebrated those souls who traveled through this world living in love, in love for God and love for neighbor, right? These souls who are now perfected in love, living the life of love in heaven. Well, today's gospel also makes mention of some other souls, right, who did not live in God's love and for one reason or another died uh, not in the state of grace but in the state of mortal sin and therefore they are separated from God's love for all eternity. That's what our Lord mentions in today's gospel. But today we celebrate these souls who are kind of in between, right? During their journey here on earth, uh, they fell short of love, right? They were not loving God with all of their heart, mind, soul, and strength. They were not loving their neighbor as themselves. But at the same time, they were not falling short to a degree that destroyed love within their souls, so they died with imperfect love in their souls. And for this reason, they need to be purified. The first reading from the Book of Wisdom says that God tried them and found them worthy of himself, right? We need to be worthy of God, as the scripture says, nothing imper impure will enter into heaven. And so we are, are tried in this life. And as I mentioned, the saints who we celebrated yesterday, they are perfected. And uh, those who were not found worthy of God are lost. But these other ones did not purify their love in this life. And so as gold in the furnace, he proved them. And as a sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. And so they are now being purified in those fires of purgatory, of all of the dross, of all of the imperfections, of all of those things that they clung to and were actually obstacles to their love of God and neighbor. And so, really, the plan of God is not that we die and are purified afterwards, but that we're purified here and now in this world. And we do that simply, as I mentioned, by loving God as much as we can, and by loving our neighbor as ourselves. And so today's celebration is certainly for uh, the relief and release of the souls in purgatory, but it's also a good reminder to each and every one of us here who are still traveling through this world, who are making our way to the heavenly homeland, that we use our time in this world well, that is, that we use it to perfect ourselves in love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.